The question it seems like everyone's asking, what did the Supreme Court say this morning about OSHA's private employer vaccine or testing mandate? The answer, nothing. Again, to recap, OSHA's private employer vaccine mandate was heard, the emergency rule at least, by the Supreme Court last Friday. They held argument and it seemed like they would at least issue an administrative stay, meaning that federal OSHA would not roll phase one of the requirements about having a policy, requiring masks for those unvaccinated, uh, providing paid time off for vaccines, all of those phase one steps. A lot of thought that there would be administrative stay stopping that from taking effect until at least the Supreme Court could issue a decision on the emergency rule. That didn't come over the weekend. Supreme Court announced earlier in the week it would issue opinions today, Thursday at 10 a.m. Opinion that came out had nothing to do with, with OSHA, ETS, vaccines, any of that. So where are we now? Well, Supreme Court, this is an emergency docket, so the normal rules don't apply. There's some speculation the Supreme Court may issue orders again next Thursday, but for these vaccine mandates, both the private employer mandate and the healthcare CMS that's specific to the healthcare industry, uh, a lot of speculation is they'll issue both opinions at once. I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, those could come out at any time. So we don't know when those are going to take effect. So again, for private employers, for most that took effect Monday. So that's if you have 100 or more employees. There are some private employers in states. So if you're in a state OSHA plan, I'll post that map again here. State OSHA plans have a couple more weeks before those will go into effect. But the grand scheme is that private employers can't rest on their laurels for this. And I know that's a really corny saying, but uh, private employers need to be prepared. Those that are covered where it's taking effect, ensure that you're having the policies in place and all of the other requirements of phase one. I'll put those again here for reference. So until then, we're still watching the Supreme Court. There's a lot of us watching and a lot have their eyes on this. So stay tuned.